Hello, this is Harvey Vagabond Jerry, and today I've driven 456 kilometers from Happy Valley Goose Bay going east to St. Mary's Harbor, which is very close to the east coast of Labrador. And in this video, I'm going to show you several interesting things that I found around along the east coast of Labrador, starting with something called the White Water Falls. That's here in St. Mary's. I'm right here, and I'm going to go out to the left there, down to White Water Falls, and this is the St. Mary's River. This is a good map that shows several of the facilities that they have and right behind it is a shot of the St. Mary's River and you see that big spot in the middle <laughs> it has been drizzling all day long so it's hard to get those spots off of the lens here's a shot of the river and I'm really glad they built this new bridge. At least it's wider. There's a guy out here fishing. You've got the directions marked pretty well and you park behind this building up there and then you walk down this road and I guess this is what it looks like and I think it's about a 20 minute walk to get to it. A little ways down the road you'll see this sign and then go off up to the left here so you just keep walking the way the signs tell you to and you'll come upon this little boardwalk. The boardwalk is in several segments, mostly to get you past the kind of bad areas for walking. And when the boardwalk finally ends, you go up over these rocks and then Above there, you go off to the left and look for those posts like that. Up here, it's a faint footpath. Just watch for these posts. And there's a bit of a foot trail you can follow. And then you'll eventually see just past the dirt road here is this body of water. So I think the waterfalls is in there. So if you follow this dirt road around to the right, you'll see this sign maybe laying on the ground. You'll see this building, and then off to the left down here is this building, which is used to generate hydros. <laughs> so behind that building is where you see the river and the falls. Don't know how this works. And I can hear the falls rushing off to the right here. And folks, I'm not sure, but I think this is the waterfall. I wouldn't call it a waterfall, but that's what we got. And this is as far as I can see upstream. Here's a far off view of it. You can see the 
rocks there where it's going over see how far down I can get that's about it and a little ways up the road is this really nice shot of the bay Here's a little more of a close-up. It's a nice view. Well, this is the first patch of snow I've seen still hanging around the spring here in Labrador. Really goes late <laughs> into where you would think summer would be starting. The nights are getting down into like the 40 degrees area. This is the Red Bay National Historic Site building with the museum. I'm going to go in and show you. And right next to the museum building is the Whalers Restaurant and Gift Shop. They have a really nice restaurant here. And I've come in for my breakfast. And we've also got some old museum pieces here. Various things. In the cabinet there's a sewing machine. Some stuffed birds. Nice display. Really nice gift shop. We've got a really nice place here. Looks like these guys are having fun. <laughs> and how you like this bear rug? Wow. And this tells the story of the Red Bay. Of course, there's a lot more to it. And here they have. This is the North Atlantic right whale of these two models. I wonder how an old man gets hair like that. This tells about life at Red Bay. And I don't think these shoes would really be very sufficient if you ask me. And guess what this is? It's a wool shirt and a knee-length breeches. These boots are a little better. There's an island right off of the coast here where these items were found. Some more clothing items. They have all sorts of tools that were used for whaling. And these big barrels, they were used for storage of whale oil. This sign says here, and this sailing ship kind of has a problem on this side. <laughs> Everything here is pieces found out on that island, including this cabinet, it looks like it was. And this is part of a ship they found. And you can go out to the island there. They have a water taxi to it. Imagine they used that island as their base because it had some protection being off by itself like that. But the ship did eventually sink In here on the top floor, they've got some nice views out towards the island. And over here you can see some of the community homes off into the distance there. It's a fairly good sized community.
Here are the buildings at the end. And here's the houses on the other side. And there is a church up on the hill there. You can see the steeple. And check this out, folks. We've got an iceberg from the winter still hanging out here. How about that? Wow. It's blue on that side. Nice. This is the next place I'm going to. It's called Lance Lamour. And this is to go to the Point Amour Lighthouse. Let me zoom in to it there. And this is like open ocean out there. And there are six other buildings around here. Well this says they call it a light station. And out here I just noticed right off of the coastline there is a real small iceberg out there. And I wonder what that rusted out thing is. I've only seen a few icebergs driving along the coast here. And there is some little piece of equipment right there. And falling along the coastline here. Not much to see out in the water. We got one of those binocular things here. And if you could see underwater, then this is what you would see. Maybe if you go diving down. And here's a little bit more info. Well, folks, I've made it to Blanc Sablon, which is where you get onto the ferry to go to Newfoundland. And if you go about 11 miles south of where you turn off to go to the ferry right at the Braidor West River you'll find a small parking area here with this sign which is just past the bridge so you walk across the bridge and you get this view of the Braidor River and right there is a really nice looking waterfall. <laughs> that was a little bug walking across my camera lens. All these rocks. There are just so many rocks everywhere in the rivers. There's a lower part of it and there's the upper part. That's as far as you can see right there from here. Very nice waterfall. Here's where it goes under the bridge. There's also a small parking area just before the bridge. And here's some wooden steps that go up to get a better view of the waterfall. And here's a plaque that tells about it. If you want to read this. An artist sketch of it there. Nice view. So this is where the water heads out to go to the sea. It's fairly shallow there you can see. And I think off to the right is where it goes out to the sea there. 
Now I've got to go back to Blanc Sablon to get on the ferry. So there's a couple more shots I want to stop and show you. Here's a parking area on the way back to town. And out here is a really large viewing platform. And there's actually a really nice, very sandy beach here. Nice view. And down here as well. In fact, driving to the waterfall, I saw a lot of very nice looking sandy beaches. And along here, the road just beside the highway is a really long, looks like a very nice sandy beach. How do you like that? In the summer on a hot day? <laughs> And right here in front of me, it looks really nice. But there's not a good parking area to stop here for long. Well, just a little ways up the road, several, maybe about a dozen cars could park head in right here. And this is a real nice beach and very easy access. And look at this, the way this meanders around. And over here, very nice looking sand. They've got some water coming out of a big pipe there from across the road. Very nice. They've even got a picnic table and a porta potty here. Well, folks, I'm in line now to get onto the ferry. Ferry is 36 kilometers and it's supposed to take an hour and 45 minutes to get across. So here's where I'm going to park behind this big truck. It's a two level ferry. They've had some cars go down there. I think I read that it can hold 130 cars. I think I may have my dinner here. Got three small icebergs out there. They haven't taken off yet from the dock. I've noticed I keep seeing these huge boulders everywhere I go. I'm outside. It must be a slow day for the ferry. They didn't fill up all the way to the back. Well, this is my goodbye to Labrador. Let me know how you like the video. Good day, folks.